Over 4,000 internally displaced persons from 10 communities living in Maraban, Rido, Kudansa, IDP camp in Chikong, local government area of Kaduna State, have called on the government, well-meaning individuals, to assist them with food, cloth, and medical care to ease their plight in the camp. The IDPs are mostly children, women, orphans, and aged men living in poor conditions and in their need of shelter after abandoning their ancestral homes due to insecurity, banditry, and other threats to their livelihood in the communities. Plus TV correspondent Habila Darfai was there at the camp and files in this report has been presented in our studio. This is an internally displaced persons camp in Maraban Rido, Cardinal State, Northwest Nigeria. There are about 4,000 persons, including women or children, seeking refuge in this camp after being displaced following terrorist attacks on their communities. They have lost the source of their livelihood as many were killed and others kidnapped, waiting for random to be paid. They are uncertain about the end of their suffering to get back to the livelihood as life is biting hard at them. To these IDPs, life has never been the same since they came to this camp over a year ago. They can barely feed and clothe themselves or send their children back to school, which is a major challenge to them. I have money to pay for rent, and there is this child that is crying, and the mother said to him he should be patient look for them. And the child said, where is the God that will bring the food for us? She started crying because of the pressure on her. And the only thing she can give him is 50 naira biscuits and water. That is the only thing he ate that night. The problem we have now, there is no any other business rather than the farming we know. No work, and I don't know what to do. The children are crying. That is our biggest problem now. The authority must ensure and provide possible ways on how we can go back to our home. Also, a humanitarian who visited the IDP camp could not hold back her emotion, stating that they are in serious need of basic amenities and a better place to live. Most of them, the children are not going to school. Their source of livelihood, which we know is famine, has been taken away. They are practically doing nothing. The women, they need to be engaged. They need clothes. They need food. They need good medical care. There are a lot of things these people need. Calling on every good individual out there, organization, to please come and help them. The IDP coordinators say assessing medical care is out of their reach as they are desperately in need of shelter to protect them from the rains and other threats to life. They also fear a possible disease outbreak which could be detrimental to their health and that of their host community. Life now uh, is, is very, very difficult, especially the children. There is no food, there is no clothing. And look at it, uh, it is rainy, the rainy season is approaching. I don't really know how we are going to cope with it in this cold weather uh, while living in uncompleted buildings. The bandits who force them away from their old settlement, running with the people, with their wives, children, and those, many of them lost their, 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 their mothers. Many of them, they are so widows. Then a child are built because they lost their family, their fathers. Many of them, they are squatting. You can see them in a 10 or 20 for a room. They are suffering, really. We need assistance of food. food struggle. Also, the village head of Maraban Rido says they cannot cater for all the IDPs, stressing that the incoming government must intensify efforts to address security challenges in the affected community. They are built for support for food and other basic needs of the people. However, the IDPs remain hopeful of returning to their ancestral homes one day, urging governments and security agencies to find a lasting solution that would bring an end to insecurity in the state. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.